Before we proceed, let's take a moment to reflect on the power and responsibility that comes with knowledge in the digital age. The information presented here is strictly for educational purposes to help you understand how attackers exploit public data so you can better protect your privacy. By learning how these techniques work, you'll be better equipped to recognize threats and defend yourself against them. We do not condone or encourage any illegal activity. The misuse of these methods can have serious legal consequences and ethical boundaries should never be crossed. Your phone number is a unique key in the digital world. It's more than just a way to contact you. It's a gateway to your personal information, your identity, and even your security. Now let's begin our journey into the world of open source intelligence, where information is both a shield and a potential vulnerability. Together, we'll uncover how to turn knowledge into your greatest asset for digital safety. What is OSINT? You might have heard the term tossed around in cybersecurity circles, but what does it really mean? And why is it so important in today's digital world? OSINT stands for Open Source Intelligence, the art and science of collecting, analyzing, and interpreting information from publicly available sources. It's about transforming scattered data into actionable insights that can inform decisions, uncover secrets, or even prevent threats. Unlike hacking, which involves breaking into systems, OSINT is about following the digital breadcrumbs that people and organizations leave behind, often without realizing it. Imagine the internet as a vast, chaotic library filled with endless shelves of information, some obvious, some hidden in plain sight. OSINT is knowing which books to pull from the shelves, how to read between the lines, and how to connect seemingly unrelated dots to reveal a bigger picture. The sources are everywhere. Social media profiles, blogs, public records, news articles, online forums, and even commercial websites. Each one is a potential goldmine of information. Take something as simple as a phone number. Alone, it might seem trivial, but in the hands of a skilled OSINT investigator, it can unravel a web of connections, linking to social media accounts, business registrations, or even physical addresses. Every online action, whether it's posting a comment, leaving a review, or signing up for a newsletter, creates a new data point. These points accumulate, forming a digital footprint unique to each individual. OSINT practitioners act as digital detectives, piecing together these fragments to build a comprehensive profile or uncover hidden patterns. It's a process that requires both creativity and persistence. The truth is, most of the time, there's no need to break in because so many doors are already left wide open by careless online behavior or overlooked privacy settings. OSINT is less about technical wizardry and more about psychology, research skills, and the patience to follow every lead, no matter how small. The process is patient and iterative, spiraling outward from each new clue with every discovery leading to new questions and possibilities. The real target isn't just a computer or a database, it's the digital ghost of a person, the online shadow they leave behind. OSINT is the language we use to communicate with that ghost, to understand their story, and to reveal the hidden truths woven into the fabric of the internet. The very first stop for an attacker armed with just a phone number is almost always social media. Platforms like Facebook, Instagram, X, and LinkedIn. These sites are treasure troves of personal information, and most people don't realize just how much they reveal. Many users link their phone numbers to their accounts for added security or convenience. But this simple step can actually open up a vulnerability. It's a double-edged sword. While it helps you recover your account, it also gives attackers a direct link to your online identity. Attackers often exploit the forgot password feature. By entering your phone number, they can trigger password reset processes that reveal partial emails, names, or even profile pictures associated with that number. These small pieces of information are like puzzle pieces. Even something as simple as a partial name or a blurry profile photo can be a major breakthrough for someone trying to uncover your identity. It's often all they need to start digging deeper. With a partial name or image, attackers can perform reverse image searches or cross-reference details across different platforms. This can quickly lead them to more profiles, more photos, and more personal details, sometimes even accounts you forgot you had. By simply adding your number to their contacts and syncing with social media apps, attackers can often find your profile directly. Many apps suggest friends based on phone numbers, making it easy for someone to connect the dots. Once they found your profile, a whole world opens up. Friend lists, photos, posts, and interests become visible. A detailed blueprint of your social life, habits, and connections. 
Social media doesn't just show who you are, it reveals where you work, who you know, what you like, and even what you believe in. Your digital persona is often more exposed than you think. A single post, a check-in at a favorite restaurant, or a tagged photo can reveal your daily routines, locations you frequent, and even your relationships. These details can be pieced together to form a surprisingly accurate picture of your life. Each data point, no matter how small, is a dot on a map. Attackers connect these dots, building a network of information that can map out your entire digital existence. And remember, all of this can start from just one phone number. That single piece of data can unlock a cascade of personal information. The digital trail you leave behind is far longer and more detailed than you might ever imagine. Every click, post, and connection adds to the breadcrumbs that can lead someone straight to you. With a name or username, attackers turn to search engines. Google, Bing, DuckDuckGo. Using advanced search techniques, they find information hidden in plain sight. Searching a phone number in quotes can reveal old forum posts, ads, or business listings. Even decade-old posts can expose interests, locations, or usernames. Search engines help build a timeline of your digital life. Combining names, numbers, and locations uncovers blogs, resumes, or public records. Each new keyword snowballs into more results. Even finding nothing can be a clue, suggesting privacy awareness or a new number. Usernames are searched too, often revealing more accounts and details. The web never forgets, and search engines are the key to its memory. Next, attackers dive into people's search engines and data brokers, sites like Whitepages, Spokio, Bean Verified. These services aggregate personal data from public records, marketing databases, and social media. A phone number can instantly pull up a report, full name, age, city relatives. This confirms earlier findings and provides new leads, like family members to investigate. For a fee, even more details are revealed, address history, emails, property, criminal records. Attackers move from public posts to semi-public aggregated data. Data brokers operate in a legal gray area, selling your life in pieces. For attackers, these sites are shortcuts, minutes instead of days of research. Your phone number is the search query. The output is a detailed summary of your life. With a name and location, attackers access official public records. County and state websites offer property records, revealing home addresses, purchase prices, and dates. Court records expose lawsuits, criminal cases, or financial troubles. Voter registration can confirm addresses and political affiliations. Business registrations reveal professional ties and financial activities. Each record is cross-referenced for accuracy. This phase moves from unreliable social media to hard, documented facts. Government transparency, meant for accountability, also creates privacy risks. Attackers don't need to hack, just know where to look. The phone number was the key, the name unlocks the archive. Attackers also exploit messaging apps like WhatsApp, Telegram, and Signal. By adding a number to their contacts, they see if the target uses the app. Profile pictures and status messages can reveal jobs, locations, or interests. A reverse image search links the photo to other accounts. Backgrounds and photos, logos, landmarks offer more clues. Status messages might reveal employers or travel plans. Even emojis can hint at hobbies or moods. Telegrams people nearby can confirm a user's location if enabled. Default settings and habits often leave these windows open. Every small clue adds up to a bigger picture. By now, the attacker has a web of data name, face, email, location, employer, family, and online history. The final step is synthesis, organizing and connecting the dots. Mind maps or spreadsheets visualize relationships and confirm details. Cross-referencing strengthens accuracy. Does the employer's address match social check-ins? Do friends match family records? This profile enables social engineering, phishing, scams, or even real-world threats. The process can take minutes or hours, but the result is chillingly complete. It shows how fragile privacy is in a connected world. Digital footprints are everywhere, and skilled actors can follow them with ease. The phone number was just the first clue. The real treasure is the story it unlocks. Understanding these methods is unsettling, but it empowers you to defend yourself. Treat your phone number like a secret. Don't post it publicly. Use a secondary number for non-essential accounts. Audit your social media privacy settings. Disable find by phone number. Remove unknown followers and be mindful of what you post. Avoid sharing high-res photos with metadata or real-time locations. Remove your info from data broker sites. Use opt-out services if needed. Regularly search your name and number to monitor your public footprint. File removal requests to reduce exposure. Be skeptical of unexpected password prompts. Use strong, unique passwords and app-based two-factor authentication. The goal isn't to disappear but to be a harder target.